Hi friends, in this tutorial series, we'll be implementing examples using Spring Boot and Azure. In this tutorial, we'll be looking at what is Azure App Services and how to deploy a Spring Boot application as Azure App Service. For this tutorial, I'll be taking reference of my website javanews.com. So go to Spring Boot Azure. In Spring Boot Azure, go to deploy a Spring Boot application to Azure App Service. In this tutorial, we'll be creating a Spring Boot 3 application and deploying it as an Azure App Service. In the next tutorial, we'll be creating an Azure API Management Service to securely access the deployed Azure App Service. So what is an Azure App Service? Azure App Service is a fully managed platform as a service offering from Microsoft Azure for building, deploying and scaling web apps. Some of the benefits of deploying to Azure App Service are as follows. Managed infrastructure, scalability, high availability, continuous deployment, security, cost effectiveness, multiple language support, easy monitoring global reach, ecosystem integration. For this tutorial, we'll be having the following workflow. First, we'll be creating a Spring Boot application and where we'll be exposing a GET endpoint using a REST controller. Next, using a Docker file, we'll be creating an image for the Spring Boot application. Once this image is ready, we'll push this image to Azure Container Registry. Once the image has been successfully pushed to the Azure Container Registry, in the Azure portal, we'll be creating an Azure App Service. The Azure App Service will make use of the image from the Azure Container Registry and a Spring Boot application will get deployed as an Azure App Service. The user can then access the REST endpoint that we have exposed previously. So let us begin with the implementation part. For this, go to Spring Initializer site. And here we'll be creating a Spring Boot application. I'll be using 3.2.7 version for Spring Boot. Give the group as com.java news. Artifact, give it as boot Azure apps. We'll be adding only the web dependency. Click on generate. So this will download the project. So here I've imported the downloaded Maven project. If you go to the pom.xml, here we have the Spring Boot Starter Web Dependency that we had specified in the Spring Initializer site. Let us build this project. Right click on pom.xml, run as Maven install. So this will download the dependencies that we have specified in the pom.xml. So here the Maven build is successful. Next we'll be creating a controller class where we'll be exposing a get endpoint with the URL slash test which will just return a string hello java in use. So let us create this class. Here in Eclipse I'll be creating it in the same package. Copy the contents of this class. Next, we want the Spring Boot application to run on port 80. So I need to specify server.port property in the application.properties file. So you go to source main resources, application.properties and specify this property. We have done with the changes for the Spring Boot application. Let us start this. Here the application it has started successfully on port 80. If I now go to the URL localhost 80 slash test then we can see that hello java news has been returned. Next we'll be dockerizing the Spring Boot application that we just created. So previously we had implemented Spring Boot Docker tutorial series. You can go to this link here or in DevOps you can go to the Docker tutorials or Kubernetes tutorials that we had implemented before. This will tell you the basics of Docker. So this is the Docker file that we'll be implementing for the Spring Boot application. In the first stage using Maven and OpenJDK We'll first be copying the Spring Boot application that we just created inside the Docker container. Then using the Maven command, we'll be building this project. Once the Maven build is successful, then using the jar file inside the target folder of our application, we'll be starting the Spring Boot application using java-jar command. Let us create this Docker file. Copy this. In Eclipse project, create a new file. Limit as Docker file. Next, let us create the Docker image using the Docker file that we just created. For this, the command is docker build hyphen java in use app dot so copy this command and go to the command prompt. Also on Windows, I have started Docker Desktop so that I can use my Docker commands on Windows. So paste this command here. So I'm inside the Spring Boot Azure Apps folder where we have the Docker file. So here the Docker image is being created. Here the Docker image it has been created. If you now go to Docker Desktop, in images we can see that an image in Java News app has been created for us. So we have created a Spring Boot application and for this application we have created a Docker image. Next we'll be pushing this Docker image to Azure Container Registry. For this we'll go to the Azure portal and create an Azure Container Registry in Java News Registry. So go to the Azure portal. So here I've logged into the Azure portal. Next search your Container Registry. Click on Create. Select the resource group. The registry name, I'll be giving it as Java News Registry News since I already have an existing Java News Registry. Click on Review and Create. Create. Here it is showing the deployment is complete. Click on Go to Resource. So a new registry name, Java News Registry New has been created for us. Once the registry is created, we need to tag the built image with the Azure registry name as follows. We'll be making use of the following command, docker tag, the name of the existing image that is Java News app and the name of the Azure Container Registry, the name of the image. So copy this command. For us, the, the, the registry name that we have created is Java News Registry New. 
So if you go to the portal, this is the name of the Azure Container Registry that we just created. Click enter. If you go to Docker Desktop, now we have two images. One was the Java News app image previously created. And here this is the same image, but we have just typed the Azure Container Registry to the image name. Next, we'll be pushing this image to the Azure Container Registry. But before doing so, we'll first need to log into the Azure portal from the command prompt. And for this, the command is az login. Select the account. So here I am successfully logged in to the Azure portal. I'll also need to log in to the Azure Container Registry that we just created. For this, the command is az acr login hyphen in and the name of the container registry. So copy this. And for this, the name will be Java News Registry New. Click enter. And here we have logged in successfully. Let us now push the image to the Azure Container Registry. For this, the command is Docker Image Push and the name of the image. Okay, this again this will be Java in registry mode. So here the image it has been pushed successfully. You now go to the Azure Container Registry, Services, Repositories. So here we can see that our image it has been successfully pushed. Next in the Azure portal, we'll be creating an Azure app service which will deploy the image that we had just pushed to the Azure Container Registry. So this in the Azure portal, we'll go to the Azure App Services and create a new web app. So go to the Azure portal. We go to App Services. Create, create a web app. Select the resource group. The name I will be giving it as Java News. We will be publishing this as a container. Let's go to the container tab. Here we will be getting the image from the Azure Container Registry. So select this. Select our registry. So it is Java News Registry New. And here we get some exception that this uh, registry does not have admin rights. In order to resolve that error, we will need to give admin rights to the Azure Container Registry. So for this, the command is azacr update the name of the registry fnfn admin enable true. So copy this command. For us, it is Java News Registry new. Go back to the portal now. And here we'll again create the web app resource group. Give the name as Java News app container. Go to the container tab Azure Container Registry. Select the registry. So here now we are not getting that error. Next, go to review and create. Click on create. So this will create the Azure web app for us. Here it is showing that the deployment is complete. So go to the resource. So here a web app named Java News app has been created for us. Copy this URL Java News app dot Azure websites dot net. And the URL we had this test that we had deployed. So here we are getting hello java in use correctly. Now this deployed Azure web app, it is available publicly and this is not what we will want for most of our applications. So in the next tutorial, we will be adding security to this deployed Azure web app using Azure APIs. So only a person who has a valid subscription key, he will be able to access this URL. Hope you have understood this tutorial. You can download the source code from here. Thank you.